Here are two ways to help kids learn and like math. A number wheel and simple names for words. I have two tools that really help tremendously with it. One is to make math playful. Now, this up here, if you can see, this is the numbers from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and it just goes on. That's what we call the number line, right? You, most of you know what a number line is, and it just goes. And where we get into trouble with a number line is 10 is fine. 10, we have 10 fingers, which are 10 digits. 10 digits, 10 digits. And the reason that they're both called digits is we learn to count on our fingers from way back from the beginning of time. Now, what happens when we get into trouble is we get to 10. And the next number is 11. It's this weird, strange name for this number after 10. Why do we name it? We could call it all kinds of other things. And then the next number is 12. 12? Where does that come from? It's totally different from 11, from 10. 13, a whole nother direction. Each word, each name has its own word all the way to 20, and then there's 30, 40. There's 18 words that a kid has to learn to count to 100, beyond 10. And it's crazy, because kids, math is a whole new subject for kids. They are learning something brand new, and we're throwing all this language trouble at them. And the, what the Asians do in the standard international tests China and Japan are on the top. We are not, out of 72 countries in the PISA tests, we're not in the top 10, we're not in the top 20. Out of 72, we're not in the top 30. We barely make the 40. We're 40th place in it. And language is a big part of it. And the other is just the seriousness of the number line and not playing. This map I put on the floor and kids play with it. They run around it, they jump it, they look at all this middle is just all pattern. It's all addition, all subtraction, all multiplication patterns are all in there. And kids play twister on that. And they play jump around and they jump from numbers and they have great fun learning math. So what we do here is we do eight, nine, ten. We do what the Asians do. Literal translation. Ten one. Not 11, 10, 1. It makes sense, right? 10, 2, 10, 3, 10, 4, 10, 5, 10, 6, 10, 7, 10, 8, 10, 9, 20, or two tens. 2, 10, 1, 2, 10, 2, and you go all the way. The, uh, for the Asians and with this system, the 11th word after 10, the next word after 10 is 100. It saves all that struggle and all that confusion with the different names. And it comes up pretty interesting. So I'll show you the number wheel. I'll show you at least one pattern here with this. If you add seven and six, you connect them with a line. You roll this up to eight five. That's one number bigger and one number smaller. If it's one number bigger, one number smaller, one number bigger, one number smaller, it has to add to the same thing. Cool. Go up another one. Nine and four. We don't know what the number is, but they add to, but we know they add all to the same thing. Well, cool, we go up again, and nine, four, next numbers are 10, three. 10, three is the answer. Not 13, you can call it 13 if you want, <laughs> old style. 10, three is the answer. You can do 11, two if you want. 10, three, nine, four is 10, three. Eight, five is 10, three or 13. 7, 6 is 10, 3, or 13. You can go down. 0 and 10. 9 and 1 are 10. 8 and 2 are 10. 7 and 3 are 10. 6 and 4 are 10. 5 is all by itself. 5 and 5 are 10. It works for all numbers. It's a simple, straightforward, playful, fun way to learn math. So, when you're sitting around that water cooler <laughs> and you're talking to your friends or you know any kids who are struggling, 
steer them around to Mr. Number videos. And I will steer them to the right side of that divide so that they learn to like math because it's going to make such a difference in their life. And a gift for the old timers, 10-4. Over now. <laughs> Over now.